What's good, YouTube family, man? This shit, God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop, man. Smash that like button. Hit that notification bell. Like, share, subscribe this video. Look, get in the comment sections and engage with us so you can become a family of the I Smoke Hip Hop Nation. Look, y'all, do me one quick favor. I don't beg for donations. You can donate if you want to, but I prefer share this motherfucking video to the right sources who need to hear this. Man, rest in peace to Pop Smoke. Rest in peace to X. Rest in peace to all the guys, man. Rest in peace to Hassan Campbell Cheeks. Rest in peace to Hassan Campbell's mouth. Rest in peace to Hassan Campbell butt cheeks. Rest in peace to Hassan Campbell sloppy toppy situation. Man, fuck all that. Look, Africa Bambada ain't never going to prison. Africa Bambada ain't never going to court. He ain't never going to jail. Like, maybe if other victims come through, he might. But if the, if the credible source that the prosecutors and what the DA took to bring Africa Bambada to court is going to be the star witness other than known as Hassan Poppy Campbell, oh, it's over with. <laughs> it's over with. Look, Hassan Campbell, this is the challenge. I'm putting up my YouTube channel. You can have it. I'll sign it away to you. I don't even care if Africa Bambada is found guilty or not guilty. If Africa Bambada actually steps foot in that courthouse, bro, you heard it first, bro. My YouTube channel is yours, my nigga. Now, let's get on with this. Nigga, your sweet booty ass really think we're supposed to believe Africa Bambada, there's going to be resurrection for everybody that he has hurt, including your butt cheeks. Nah, nigga. You messed up this case a long time ago when instead of actually putting your foot in this nigga's neck, you made a storyline out of it. You made notoriety out of it for all the wrong purposes. You started beefing with the actual people that were helping you. At one point in time, you was beefing with Star for a little bit for who he let on his platform. But you still cool with him because Star was like your only allies left. You flipped and turned on Sonetta TV. Granted, Son had to do things here and there that we don't like, but he's still the elder. He's still the progenitor of this black conscious shit on YouTube, meaning that you had the ears to the man that can bring you the views and the people you need to help you. You don't got to like Sonetta TV, but his platform and what he has done for the community could have helped you and your movement. So now it's like, Tafik tried to kill me. Sonetta set me up. My nigga, the only agent is you, God. You the only motherfucking agent here. You the only nigga that has over 13 bodies, but you've never been locked up long enough where we could believe it's substantial enough. You the only nigga that's been locked up for killing young people, bro. You the only disaster that need to get the fuck out the storm. You want us to believe there's gonna be some type of district attorney that's gonna look at your case and then look at the, the credible witness that you're supposed to be and Africa Bambada is going to jail. Bro, all the shit that you've said over the YouTube is going to be enough evidence. I don't Look, Africa Bambada could get a, a, a fucking, um, what you call one of them people, um, the state government um, lawyers or whatever. He can get a, point, a, a appointed attorney and still win his case. All the evidence you threw out there. Oh, I hated my mom house so much, I just kept going back to Bambada house. It was so bad over here, Bambada was my father figure. Every time a nigga asks you, why didn't you do this to Bambada? I love Bambada. Nigga, they ain't gonna look at you like no victim, my nigga. They gonna look at you like a booty bandit, bro. Facts. You was giving boy pussy all up, my nigga. Bambada know what type of boy pussy he wanted. He wanted your light skin ass, my nigga. Get the fuck out of here, man. Nigga, they might fuck around and lock you up, Hassan Campbell. Shout out to Israel Doctrine. They might ask you really what happened to that boy. Yeah, nobody want to bring it up though, right? But what happened to that boy? Shout out to Star Terrain who said that boy is alive. Shout out to Star for that. I, I would have to believe my OG, but I'm still going to keep it a stack. Shout out to Star, but where's the proof this nigga is alive? You dig what I'm saying? Hassan, like since you've been in this community, bro, you took over a community and uh, allowed more pedophilers to have some type of, I don't know how to call it, like motivation that if, if Hassan can become a big YouTuber, a big you, maybe I can become a YouTuber. What? But <laughs> my nigga, <laughs> they supposed to take Bambada to court for you, my nigga? 
Nigga, they're gonna be watching all the fucking videos. They're gonna see the nights that you get drunk and you start drinking and telling, bam, when you were sucking my wood, blah, blah, blah. They're gonna be so uncomfortable with the graphic nature that you bring that shit in. Man, fuck out of here, man. But Bam Bada got a strong pip hand on you, boy. We seen the tapes. Nigga, we seen the pictures, nigga. You was a grown-ass nigga, well, 38 years old, nigga, 39 years old, all hugged up on Bambada taking that picture with, nigga. Fuck out of here. You supposed to be a victim. When why the fuck you taking pictures with the nigga as a grown man? As a grown man. <laughs> nigga, once again, I'm going to ask this question to y'all. Once again, roasting session. <laughs> once again, nigga, what's the dick that good? <laughs> nigga. What's the dick that good? I can't, man. Hey, hey, hey. What's the dick that good, bro? Hey, we need to get a hashtag. What's the dick that good? Like, nigga. God damn, bro. I know my dick is good when I'm dicking down these hoes out here, but it ain't that good. I can't stop a bitch from throwing me the child support. I can't stop a bitch 10 years ago when we ran the train out here, this and that. I can't stop her from saying me too, me all this. But my nigga. What dick is that powerful, bro? He went up, what, I don't care if he ran up with your thigh cheeks or your asshole, bro, whatever you want to say. What dick is that good that keep a nigga in silence for over 28 years, Sway? How? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. How do you feel, nigga? When you look at this big black nigga Afri that Africa Bambada is, and you was a little kid, bro, like, all right, let's pretend it did happen to him when he was 10, when he was 11. I can't give you a pass because I remember how I was at 10 and 11. But let's just say they're all weak niggas at 10, 11. Let's even be fair and say at 12 and 13, nigga. Let's even be fair and say at 14, nigga. How at 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 years old, 21, 22, 23? How you getting dick down at these ages and you ain't never said, boy, there's something wrong with this? F fuck that. Let's keep it real. How don't you get uncomfortable when a nigga even tells you he likes you or even does like... Ugh. Ugh. Left a bad taste in my mouth. Pause. Pause, man. Bruh, the district attorney gonna be watching them tapes. He gonna be looking at a tape of Hassan Campbell. He gonna sit back and be like, Africa Bambada needs to go to jail. How? We need to lock up this nigga. Cause we gonna play the tapes for them, bro. It's already on the internet. You said you've been fucked by Bambada so much and been traumatized so much, you started touching kids. Am I making this up? And you fans, you 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 maggot ass fans. Yeah, I said maggot with a M A G G O T O. Maggots are little things that come in your body. See, I'm slick. Yeah, you you flagging ass niggas. But this nigga, y'all following him? I'm talking about booty hole so open, nigga. Dive in that shit. Then we really know the world is flat. <laughs> hey, hey, Bam Bot Bam is somewhere with the Ar Hey Arnold fist. <laughs> He's someone with the A honor for his damn. That was the best boy pussy I had yet. <laughs> boy, look at that. Bam by the dick so good, he make his victims become famous. <laughs> I'm a big YouTuber. <laughs> hey, hey, before that mother of yours pass away, how did she feel? Huh? Her big bad gorilla killer son. Was getting dick down the whole time, bro. How do your sons feel, bro? How do you get mad at your wife? <laughs> hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, man. <laughs> How do you get mad at your wife and tell her, babe, check me out, babe. Look, I ain't gonna lie to you, babe. <laughs> you in a fight with her, right? And your wife just snap on you and, and, and she did something saying, go, babe, sit your ass down, baby. She go, I know this nigga who just got thawed between the cheeks between Bambada for 28 years was in a relationship with his so-called molester. I know this bitch ass nigga ain't screaming at like, bro, how do you feel as a man, bro? 
Bambada got your manhood on a debit card. <laughs> Zulu Nations. Hey, Bambada probably got like a hundred sex tapes of this nigga. I believe he be playing Planet Rock. Planet Rock. No, Planet Rock. Planet Rock. Planet Rock. Oh, he planted something on your rock, all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's like when when this nigga was with Derek, <laughs> and Derek was going because I can, because I can. And then Poppy snapped on Derek. Damn, they about to kill that boy. I think he had a flashback, y'all. Let me. I think he had a flashback when Ben Bada pinned him down on the bed and was taking that nigga ass. I think his head had a flashback. He was telling Ben Bada, Ben Bada, why are you doing this to me? And Ben Bada looked at him. Because I can. <laughs> I believe you now, nigga. You said Ben Bada violated your butthole so bad, you started touching kids. Derek, Derek was so short when he came to meet you, you thought he was a kid. <laughs> you violated that nigga all through um, 156th Street. You violated that nigga, bro. You shoved this man, you picked him up, you caressed him. Bro, that shit was a relationship with you and Derek. Because y'all had a little domestic dispute. That's what we call that shit, a lover squirrel. You niggas got the tussling. They got the drinking Long Island iced tea. You know, Derek been trying to meet this nigga for over six months. I, I showed y'all the receipts. Sipping on that Long Island iced tea. Boy got the drinking. Shit got in a system. Loose as a skunk, don't get me started. Yeah, yo, that shit got started all right. Somebody seen them. This nigga Hassan tried to hide and play it off. You attacked your boyfriend. Shout out to Derek Williams, man. I got no beef with you, Derek. But it is what it is, fam. That was your boyfriend, fam. You attacked your boyfriend. You got in a situation with him, and just like a relationship, you ever look, look y'all feel me on that? Like when I when I kind of raise my voice at my lady or whatever, you know, women are weaker than us. She start breaking and, you know, they get that sad face and you come, oh, baby, it's going to be all right. That's what fucking Hassan did to Derek after he shoved that boy on the ground and damn near beat the soul out of that boy. He picked him up. Come on, let me bring you back to the hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me and mom lying. The nigga said, go watch the tape. Say, I got to go bring you back to the hotel. I told your daughter I would. Nigga, take care of his nigga. I was like, oh, man, this a lifetime movie, nigga. <laughs> The whole band body situation is a la lifetime movie, nigga. <laughs> lifetime be, I be, I be like, I ain't watching no lifetime movies, nigga. Fuck lifetime. You ever by accident your girls watching lifetime movie and you go downstairs to get something to drink, you fuck around, you talk to her a little bit, but whatever's going on the TV, you find out they be having the strangest titles and weird old movies that oh this shit interesting. Cheerleader sleeps with teacher who then murders her father and then the father's brother sleeping with the mother. It's some crazy shit. This is what this whole Bambada shit is some crazy shit. Ronald Savage was a victim. He changed the law and then he went hiding. We don't even see Ronald Savage no more. Then fucking Hassan jumps in the middle, takes the attention away. I'm a big YouTuber. It's me, Poppy. <laughs> It's me, Poppy. <laughs> Boy, you ever see two two fruit cakes get mad at each other and fight? That's what happened, man. Ronald Savage was up there. Yeah, Ben Bada finished playing with me. Now I'm about to get all this celebrity shit. Fucking Hassan Campbell was somewhere else. Nah, nigga. Nah, nigga. I can't just leave you alone with this shit. Nigga, I need my piece of the pot. So it's like too, too sweet. Man, I'm going to leave this. It's like tweet. Two booty ass niggas, man, fighting for the attention of this nigga here, man. Whatever Bambada did to you niggas, man, I don't want no parts of it. I don't want to be a part of it anymore. The fact that Bambada can do what he does to young people and still get to be out here, I blame that on you, Hassan. If it was not for your booty cheek, thigh cheeks, or whatever, he thighed me. He thighed me. What the fuck that even means, he thighed me? Pause. If it wasn't for the fact of you getting thawed by Bambada and you still in the show to become a YouTube celebrity, the victims that are out there would have been more boisterous. But because of you, they remain in silence. People and victims all over the world don't even speak up of it. And even people who want to crusade and become Avengers for it don't even speak about it. Because your booty cheeks have done the damages that are done already. 
So salute to you, fam. Thank you for getting rid of the community once of all, but keeping intact the fucking booty lovers of the world, which is you and Bambada. Now, I'm going to leave Bambada alone. Because <laughs> I still think you want to Bambada's little board tours that got out of order and, and, <laughs> and went to go be a celebrity. Other than that, man, I'm done with this. This zestiness, man. Shout out to y'all, man. I'm your God bless one, man. Love your family. Love your kids. Stay blessed.